So how do you pivot into hosting? Because w- you probably are most known I'm for doing, Attack of the Show, yeah? I tripped into hosting. Like, there, if people ask me, like, how I do it and, like, what advice I can give them. I'm like, I can give you no advice. I don't know. I'm thankful, so thankful that I got into it. But it, I, it was not even on my radar. And it's because... You're doing I'm, just small acting things here and yeah, there. Yeah, here and there. I'm working. I'm working enough to know that I'm doing the right thing. But I'm still. I still have a job at the Cheesecake Factory. Or oh, really? You know, I, so- I switch jobs and things like that. So at this point in my life, this is in like 2007. I'm bartending at a place. How many years had you been in LA then? At that point, I moved here in 2003. So okay, four so four years. years. Okay, yeah. Um, and uh, I was bartending at this place called the Third Stop, which is a beer and wine bar uh, right across the street from Cedar Sinai, that big hospital. Yeah. Um. And it's a, it's a, it's an awesome bar. I still go there. Like I still love that bar. The guy who now manages that bar is a guy I trained when I worked there. Like that's how. Oh, funny. Like it's a family. You yeah. Know? Um, cheers. Yes, exactly. Um, so I'm bartending there, and I had a I had a regular, this guy Kenny, who was an agent at William Morris at the time. Mm-hmm. He come in all the time. He's a good dude. He knew I was acting and that kind of stuff. Um, and he came in one night with his buddy Chris to celebrate the fact that Chris's wife had just gotten pregnant. Okay. And so we're like, you know, I'm giving them beers, we're chatting and whatever. And Kenny goes, Hey, Chris, you should actually know Allison. She's a huge nerd. She should be on your network. Turns out Chris worked in development at G4. Okay. And then he looks at me and I happen to be wearing a Nintendo remote control necklace at the time. And he was like, Oh, what's the necklace all about? And I was like, Oh, I've played games since I was five. And he was like, but you're a girl. And I'm like, yeah <laughs> and then chris oh, wait said, you haven't mentioned video games once up until this point you were a big oh gamer yeah I, I all, games. all your life yeah but that had nothing to do with my acting career that's what we've been talking about fair yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah my parents had an atari before i was born so that's so. what you were doing you weren't going yes. to the mall you were playing atari probably a lot. oh yeah that's actually a really good point um <laughs> Yeah. It's funny. We had our Atari set up to a small black and white TV in our basement. Okay. So that's what I always played on. And there was one Christmas when we went to my grandmother's house and I really, really, I wanted to take the Atari with us. So we took it with us and they plugged it into my grandmother's regular TV in the living room. Oh, game changer. And it was in color. (laughs) I lost my mind. I had no idea the games could be in color. (laughs) And it doesn't matter that they were only in four colors. (laughs) It was awesome. I still love those retro games. Those oh, are me still, too. I have a nin- regular Nintendo oh, over do? there. And uh, the new mini Nintendo thing. Oh, That's how'd you I get play. one of those? You'd like knock someone out at a Walmart or something? My mom did, actually. She oh, got it for job, me for mom. Christmas. Yeah, yeah, she waited in line at Best Buy. Oh, mom. I know. I, I was that. impressed. Um, so you, were, yes. you had a Nintendo necklace. Oh, this guy yes. worked at G4. Yeah, and so we just he just sat there and we chatted about why I'm like a super nerd. For a couple hours, and then he was like, "I'm going to get you a meeting with our head of talent." And like a week and a half later, I went in and met with the head of talent at G4, and I just had a 45 minute conversation with her about how I'm a super nerd. And like two weeks after that, they brought me in to screen test me. I was terrible. <laughs> I had I literally just had to read off of a teleprompter, but I had never seen a teleprompter before. Right. I didn't even know how a teleprompter worked. People I literally, don't realize. How... No, exactly. I literally walked in and I went. Oh, that's how it works out loud. <laughs> like I had no clue, and I was like reading the like stage direct- the the stuff that's like turned to camera too. I was reading that out loud, and I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to say that. Okay, I was awful. To be fair, though, you think you were terrible. Clearly, you weren't because they wouldn't have brought you on. Well, no. To be fair, they actually aired my screen test during the thousandth <laughs> episode celebration of Attack of the Show, and I watched it live, and I was like. I was terrible. <laughs> Why did you hire me? <laughs> but they did. They saw potential. They did. Like two weeks. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Two weeks after that, Zach Selwyn, who was on the network at the time, okay. he was supposed to go do a shoot in New York, but he had already had a family trip booked to Hawaii. And, okay. and they were like, well, we really need you to do this, but I guess maybe we could. They were like, we just saw some new girls. And I happened to know Zach very outwardly through another friend okay and they mentioned my name and zach selwyn went actually that girl's great bring her on okay so zach selwyn helped get me my job so they they hired me for like a one-off flew me to new york 
Uh, I interviewed Justin Long uh, and learned how to shoot guns and flew in a helicopter. And I was like, what? It was for the release of Die Hard 4 or something like that. <laughs> and I was like, what is my life? And then that just did so well. They like hired me again for a one off and they just kept bringing me back for one off. So when they when they first interviewed you, it was just sort of like a general like they were trying to find people who could potentially step in. It yes, wasn't like they exactly. had a position. Correct. Okay. Correct. And then they just sort of kept bringing me in. And then. It was E3 2008 when they like hired me for all of E3. And that's when my agent was like, or my manager at the time was, or whoever it was, someone on my team was like, (laughs) okay, you're now hiring Allison like for one day pay rates, but you're hiring her four days a week. Right. Get her on contract. And so it was during E3 that we actually. Murmural. I actually, I don't think I was, I think I'd left Myrna by then. Um, because I was no longer playing 16. Right. 